major developments in the investigation into the death of George Floyd. Absolutely. Three Minneapolis police officers involved in his killing are now facing charges. Prosecutors are also upgrading the charge against the officer who held Mr. Floyd down with his knee. Reporter Skylar Henry live in Minneapolis with reaction to the news that now all four of these officers are charged. Skylar? Hey, Alan, good afternoon to you. Well, what I can tell you is that we were here as soon as those charges were announced for all four officers, and everyone erupted into applause, essentially saying we got all four, and that is what they wanted all along. Not just Derek Chauvin, the officer who had his knee on George Floyd's neck, but the other officers that were involved in the incident as well. Now, there are thousands of people out here still. We're standing right here at the intersection where the incident happened last week. A lot of people People just coming to pay their respects to George Floyd, and they're doing so peacefully. The crowd let out a cheer, <laughs> hearing that former police officer Derek Chauvin is now facing second-degree murder charges in the death of George Floyd. We got all four. The three other officers involved in Floyd's arrest are also now charged with aiding and abetting. I strongly believe that these developments are in the interest of justice for Mr. Floyd, his family, our community, and our state. The news came just hours after Floyd's son arrived at the spot where his 46-year-old father died and knelt in prayer. I appreciate everyone for showing him some support and love. I thank y'all for that. Former NBA player Royce White has emerged as one of the city's protest leaders. There's going to be a day where George Floyd's children decide to watch the video of that cop kneeling on his neck. and. And if you can imagine that moment, then there is no way that you shouldn't take to the streets. The Minneapolis Police Department is now under investigation for discriminatory practices, but activists say that does not give them solace. Why is that? None whatsoever. I don't trust the state. I don't trust people to investigate themselves. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz visited Floyd's memorial Wednesday morning using chalk to write justice now. Now, again, those four officers have been charged. Derek Chauvin charged with second-degree murder, and the other three officers charged with aiding and abetting. Now, as for services for George Floyd, there will be a memorial here tomorrow in Minneapolis. He will be laid to rest next week in Houston. Apparently, uh, Floyd Mayweather is footing the bill for all of that, but still so many people have remained out here and say they will continue to see this all the way through until they find enough justice for George Floyd. We're here in Minneapolis. I'm Skyler Henry, KPIX 5.